interesting. How is everyone? So these past few days, as you guys know, it's been quite interesting. And I thought I had a conversation with someone and it made me realize in some ways how much fear. So let's talk about this idea of fear and how intense um, fear can be for some and how it can also stagnate you. Um, yes, you guys know I'm pretty much a nerd and I was looking around for my book, Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. And um, unfortunately, I'm unable to find it, but it doesn't matter. You guys know the book, you know the title now. Um, and to have this discussion, one of the things that I talked about when I reopened my page, if you will, was to want the idea, the desire to create uh, sort of curate this kind of like mind uh, tribe of in, or energy. And as you guys notice, I don't feel fear the same way everyone else does. And I was making a joke about it because it's like, it's not like I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm a mutant and I got superpowers or nothing. We're all human. And so is everyone else. So this idea that someone is invincible, I don't, I don't look at things the same way. And thank God I come from that kind of warrior class energy of women in my family. And so I wanted to say this to my sisters um, and brothers, but, you know, sisters especially because we seem to, I, you know, it's interesting I'll comment on the lot of the negative energy, a lot of the negative energy that's coming from people, um, one who probably really shouldn't even be on my page um, because the, the top, the, the kind of energy and the things I talk about may be a little bit above some of their negativity. They like they don't get it. And so but it's OK. We, we, we have to learn at some point. But um, the, the thought like being raised in the U.S being raised in Oakland because there are differences people for some reason don't get that there are differences there really are differences and again like I said coming from that warrior class kind of mentality and then having strong women in my family you know I always crack a joke and say being strong is overrated because sometimes I want to fall out and cry like those little children in the store having a temper tantrum. yeah I want to fall out like that um, and I have my moments where I need to, to cry and then I regroup so and the reason I said this is because I feel like somebody needs to hear this. We need to be able to, this is what I'm saying, where we need to be able to encourage and support one another. And thank goodness I'm able to, to do a lot of that cup filling myself. But it's not like I wouldn't want that or don't want that from someone else. Do you get what I'm saying? It's not like I don't want someone else to care, um, someone else to pour into me like I pour into them. But this this idea of fear has such it's it stagnated people so much to the point where everybody's these all these comments about come home leave leave run leave and all that and I'm not it's not like I'm not hearing y'all like I said it's not like I don't hear it but I don't feel the fear the same way that you do so it's it's not mean that you are good it doesn't mean that I'm good it's just that one I've taken a tremendous amount of losses and then two I just don't feel the same fear that you guys so why walk away and run now when it's thick so let me get on with it so today was the day to have a little bit today and yesterday actually so i've been going around beating some bushes and talking with some of the commanders and chiefs that i've met before and showed them the videos that i've posted with you guys and every single one of them is are in agreement that this was the situation was inappropriate today i happened to go over to check the water meter again because of course my water is still off and my water bill is paid. So I went back to the water company, asked them like, yo, what's going on? Like, I'm not understanding why. So, okay, I'm, I'm skip that. I forgot to note that my water meter is now um, capped, if you will, if that's the way it is. So someone has put a metal cap over it and a padlock at the bottom, preventing anyone from getting to my water. Mind you, my water bill is paid and I don't share water with anyone else. That means the caretaker, the same small boy that you saw in the video, him and his sister, have been carrying on. You have locked off my water. So when I went to go talk to the regional commander today, I talked to the section chief yesterday. The regional commander sent me back over to the section chief with a note saying that we need to deal with this and we need to file a report. This is not okay. So the district commander came out and we had met before and he was like, hey. So he was like, ah, when I showed him the, the pictures of the, uh, the, the cap on the water meter, at the, so he was like, so how are you bathing? Exactly. How am I bathing? How am I cooking? How am I doing anything? 
But see, this is the challenge where, like I said, a lot of people come to Ghana, have come to Ghana before me, and they laid down and took it. Even here, I'm not, this is not me, I don't gloat. This is not me gloating like, oh yeah, this is great, I'm going to get him arrested or something. He may or may not be arrested, but he needs to be dealt with. Because I legally have the right to stay in my apartment hmm, without being harassed and put in a hostile environment. So if I am not causing the problems and I'm not the one starting trouble, do you, it's, it's the comical. Have you guys ever realized when, when you were growing up, especially because now it becomes more clear as you're an adult, but it was always interesting. The one that was causing the most trouble would always be the one that would run and tell. Have you learned to run tell that? We would always be the one to play victim like, oh, look what so and so did to me. Do, 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 do. And you have to ask yourself, okay, so what'd you do then? Like my mom would tell you in a minute, if my mother was alive, she would tell you in a minute or ask you, what did you do to her? So this is the same situation. You're going to run and tell people that, what, I'm staying in the house and you bring four people deep. Like I said, like they were recording me, I also recorded them. Alhamdulillah. I would recorded them. Yes, I did. So I'm saying to people, don't feel afraid. Be, be bold. What was that song? You gotta be bad. You gotta be bold. You gotta be wise. That, that, be that. Tired of, I'm tired of everyone taking the abuse, laying down, and then want to go and complain about it. This is not me complaining about it. I want to encourage us to be strong, to be bold, to be brave, to be vibrant, and to take what's yours. Take what's yours. Don't. And so then I also want to say to the sisters that's being nasty in your comments about, oh, you, you, it's unwise to do this and unwise to do that. And, and you want to come off wiser. Okay. But the same people that's talking all this as you on my page, I'm not on yours. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not on your page checking for you. Get that through your head, boo. We have to, as brothers and sisters, this is where I said my plight and my walk in this journey has been more than 30 years. Hmm? I don't talk mine, I walk mine, but I'm trying to reach the people that are also about it and that are also walking theirs. Instead of all of this talking, 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 and then we go and we put all this negative energy towards someone else. I'm not one of those people. And you have to know the difference. You have to be able to have a discern, excuse me, hit myself, have a discerning eye and be able to see that, okay, this one is different. This sister is different or brother is different. Let me move accordingly. But like I said, I don't want people to fear. I'm not that type of fear, fear monger type of individual. I'm not saying I'm invincible. I'm not a, I'm not a mutant. I ain't got superpowers. But my superpower is using my brain. Who was that comedian? Wasn't it Eddie Griffin? Huge dysfunctional family, the movie, at the very end. And he said that when I went to see him. Think. It ain't illegal yet. Use your brain. Excuse me, brains. Use your brain. Use your mind. Use your heart. Use that energy. That is in you. The blood that you have is a memory. All of that is in you and it's working. You just don't even realize it. You don't tap into it. Hmm? And then because you use the fear, you feel all of that fear, you want everybody else to feel that same fear. No. The people that are here in Ghana, I'm not saying you running is, is, is no. I won't ever tell you, oh, you're, you're weak because you ran. Nope. I won't. That won't be come for me. But I'm saying we need to press. We need to press on. So after going and doing all the things that the commander, the commander ordered me to go and file my police report. Yes, sir, Bob, and I did. I went to file my police report, but there were some words exchanged, and of course I don't speak the language, and I forgot to get the camera the, the camera out to record, but there were some words exchanged that made me realize something was going on, and he was like, oh, this is not for you, this is a private conversation. I was like, damn, I should have recorded that. But my point is, we need to go, we have to go back to the, the police station tomorrow morning. And so it is clear that someone here has been tampering with my water meter. Sorry, I was trying to say water meter and I accidentally hit the button. But yes, enough of me banging on about tampering with the water meter. All I'm saying is we have rights to, you know, when being here, one can often surmise that it is just completely lawless and things like that. But even thinking that, we still have to press forward. We still have to demand our justice. And so I'm, I'm asking people to go out and, and, and demand theirs as well. 
Um, I've been encouraging people as well. I've been giving them the information. Like I said, I've been sharing with people. Some people didn't even realize that there was an actual rent board here in Ghana or in the area. There is a rent control or rent board, what they call a rent control here. There are so many resources that we either don't know about, and then those of us that do know we ain't sharing the information and we're not tapping in. And then also just the fear, the fear that we, not the fear, the word, the shame, I guess, when we have had certain things happen and we don't want to share it with others for the fear of um, of being ostracized and told you shouldn't have did this and what you should have did and we'll do with you. We got to stop doing that to one another. We got to stop doing that. So, like I said, tomorrow morning I go back. At least that's what I was told to go back. The officer named Abraham uh, took my, my, my uh, statement because I did write a statement, filed it. And so we'll see what happens when I go back tomorrow. But my message is feel the fear and do it anyway. Do it, do it, do it, do it until, I mean, it's like a muscle. If you don't use the muscle, it atrophies, right? Use that muscle. Use that muscle. Use that energy, that fear. Use that emotion. Use whatever and do it. Push forward. Push through. If the seal, if the door is locked, find the window. If the window is locked, find something else. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. That's all I can say is keep pushing.